There's an extraordinary idea regarding Moshe's mata, his staff, which we see throughout this week's Parsha. Because on the one hand, it seems to represent spirituality and perfection, as Moshe uses it to perform the miracles of the Exodus and the splitting of the sea. However, this staff first appears at the burning bush, and it turns into a snake. And once again, at Paro's court, it turns into a snake. And in Jewish thought, the snake represents the Yitzhahara, evil. So it appears as if the Mata represents evil. So which one is it? Well, the Maharal gives us the key. He explains that everything in this physical world is potential. There's nothing good or evil. It solely depends on how you choose to use it. Take electricity, for example. It's not good or evil. You can use it to charge your appliance or it can give you a shock. It can light up your community or it can electrocute you. And the same is true of Moshe's staff. It wasn't good or evil. It depends on how it's used. When cast down to the ground, distant from Hashem, it turns into a snake, twisted and bent. But when Moshe raised it up and sourced it back to Hashem, it turned into a mata, a tool which was used to perform miracles and to reveal Hashem in this world. And this was the entire purpose of the Exodus, to source everything back to Hashem, to recognize that everything in this world comes from a transcendent source. And this is our mission, to choose good, to choose to see Hashem in this world, to choose to become godly. And it's like the well-known tale of a grandfather who tells his grandson that within us all are two wolves that are constantly in battle. One is evil, he's anger, ego, greed, arrogance. And the other is good, he's kindness, love, humility, truth. And he continues to say that this same battle is going on inside of each and every one of us. So the grandson asks, which wolf wins? And the old man replies, the one that you feed. We get to choose which one we feed. Everything in our world is potential. It can be used for the good or the bad. The choice is yours. Will you live within the ordinary or will you choose the extraordinary.